Welcome back to TMZ Live. I admit it, uh, I'm a bit of a dinosaur and it's taken me a few years to get into it, but the EDM thing, I'm starting to come yeah. around a little bit. The uh, electronic dance music, I'm getting into it. And uh, I've learned that one of the biggest uh, rising stars in this world is DJ L. She is only 13, uh, but she is still performing at uh, 21 and over shows on a regular basis. She's been, uh, she's been endorsed by no less than Steve Aoki, and uh, she... She's she's good. I was listening to her stuff this morning. Kind of like, actually, can we play? Do we have a little bit of her performing? Let's let's listen to it. Paris Hilton can do it. Why can't DJ L? That's what I'm saying. Uh, so, uh, but uh, she's so good. They've actually opened up. Uh, she has a residency at a club for kids in Texas. So she's spinning on a regular basis and uh, doing what she loves. So. Uh, DJ L joins us right now uh, with her father, Chris Freeman. How are you guys doing? Very We're well. We're good. So, uh, so tell us, you're uh, enjoying this clearly. Um, tell us what it's like when you're performing at a show, where, a 21 and over show. So, you know, you, you're performing to a room full of adults. How are they responding? They love it, and they love the music, and I love the music, of course. And it's, it's fun, and they have a good time, and I have a good time, and I'm, I'm there for the music. How long have you been doing this, uh, Elf? I've been doing this for about two years now. You know what, uh, DJ L, this is Mike. I wanted to ask you, how did you first listen to EDM music? I know you're young and it's very popular. I'm guessing. But did your dad listen to it? Yeah, I'm or guessing did dad had something to do with it. Yeah, right? did somebody else listen to it? You got into it? Well, me and my family, we've always listened to the music and we've always loved it and had a good time. And we've always listened to it around the house. And then when my parents took me to a Tiesto concert when I was nine, he That's inspired it. me to become one. <laughs> that, that Tiesto so, at nine can Chris, do it. Chris, you, you took her at <laughs> nine to see a Tiesto show? I did, I did. She's been around the music since she was a little baby. Um, that's really all we've listened to at the house. Um, you know, so she's used to it. She loved it. Um, so, yeah, a nine-year-old going to a Tiesto show. She so, wasn't the only one. <laughs> really? Wow. Really? There was a couple other kids there, actually. Well, actually, Chris, I have a question for you. I'm glad that you brought that up, that sure. obviously there is children at these shows now. It's very popular. Uh, these DJs make sometimes more money than even performing bands and artists. Uh, the Forbes list of these DJs are, is unbelievable. 100%. Does it worry you, though, that, you know, it's like going to a Grateful Dead show. Not everybody's doing LSD, but at an EDM there's a show, large number there's a people. large number of people taking drugs. And that scene is like that. Does it concern you at all, or did it concern you when you were going to these shows? Well, it's always going to be a concern for the family, definitely. But the one thing Elle has done coming out of the box is preaching, you know, don't drugs. Uh, believe in the music and the music, you know, believe it in your heart and your soul. You don't need the drugs. Um, and that's the soapbox she's on. And uh, we're very proud of her to be able to come out of the box that way. And with a lot of the big guys has given her a lot of support, uh, support because they wish they would have came out with the same message. And they're regretting it. And a lot of them have changed their tunes now. And they're very inspired by Elle being able to come out of it. I have a, a young um, child. What is Pump It Up? And can you describe yeah, to us? Yeah, tell us about what congratulations this, this, on your Yeah, you have uh, a residency. Deal. What is this club and, and explain it to us? Can Mike get in is what he wants to know. Right. Can Mike get in? <laughs> <laughs> um, this club that I made, it was for younger age kids who like the music that I like and ha ha get, let them have an experience of the EDM music without the alcohol for all around their age kids, you know? For young kids, and it's like a it's like a bouncy house place called Pump It Up. It's it's fun. Wait, there's a bounce house there? That's what I was asking. There's bounce houses. <laughs> hey, L, we uh, got to ask you this question because we ask every other DJ that we ever have on, what do you think about Paris Hilton DJing? Have you heard her perform at all? I've never heard her perform. <laughs> every other DJ says that too. That's yeah. You, you actually you're in really good company. That That's what you're... Cascade said too. He's like, oh, yeah, never heard of it. <laughs> Listen, L, congratulations, DJ L. I should be uh, more formal. And um, good luck with the shows coming up. Yep. Thank you. Thank you.